Throughout history, there have always been celebrities. Celebrities are the people that we admire who star in movies and TV shows, and even play a part in politics. But of course, the realm of being a celebrity isn't just tied to those categories. There are plenty of other ways that people are celebrities today, from being on social media to playing sports. If you're famous, then you're a celebrity today. Even though the definition of what being a celebrity is has changed, there are still different levels to being a celebrity. Some are more famous than others. That's just how it goes. And then there were celebrities who were the A-listers that somehow still live like normal people. We're talking about the ones that have all the fame, and yet it hasn't gotten to their head. Well, today we're going to focus on those people and show you 20 huge stars who live like normal people. <laughs> Keanu Reeves We start off our list with a man who has seemed to grip this generation without even trying. He is soft-spoken, an enigma, a movie star like no one else because he definitely doesn't need an extra flair for the camera. Some call him shy while others just refer to him as an introvert. And this might be the reason why this one celebrity is so well-liked. We know that it's the reason why he lives like a normal person. It's Keanu Reeves. One reason that a lot of people say that Keanu Reeves is down to earth is because he takes the time out of his day to remember his fans. Nowadays, there are a lot of celebrities who don't do that. It's like once they get the fame, they're completely unapproachable. But with Keanu, there's one story where he was filming on the set in Siberia, but he still took the time to go sign an autograph for a fan. And that fan made an entire video about it. Now that's being a good sport. Keanu Reeves sounds like a pretty great guy, even if he does play some quirky characters in the movies. He's also been seen riding the NYC subway. Now, if that is not humility, we don't know what is. Raphael Nadal When it comes to celebrities, we all have our own assumptions. We like to imagine them in a certain way. We form opinions about them before we even meet them, if we even ever get a chance to. For example, when it comes to sports stars, we tend to think that a lot of them have an ego because, well, they do incredible things on a daily basis. They do things that we couldn't even dream of doing. They also make their job look super easy, but also there are those who make their job look humble. This is where we move on to the tennis star Rafael Nadal. The one instance that made a lot of people see this man as humble was the fact that he hasn't ever been a man focusing on breaking records. One time, he even insisted that he wasn't trying to break Roger Federer's record. It seems like he's only worried about himself and just wants to do the best thing he can do in the sport. Sure, he does own a private jet and he's one of the richest athletes in the world, but that doesn't stop him from being nice to people and not focusing on the big things, even if he is always accomplishing those big things. Harrison Ford the thing about movies is that we tend to forget their movies. We like to imagine the characters on the screen being the actual people playing them. We look up to these people. We admire what they are able to accomplish on film. Because in our real lives, we want to be able to be the heroes. We want to overcome all the struggles that are thrown at us. And can you blame us? Life can be really difficult at times. We need those role models because when life does throw a curveball our way, a little motivation can help. One of those movie stars that we look up to who happens to live a very modest lifestyle is Harrison Ford. So why do people think Harrison Ford is a cool cat? Well, it's simply because he acknowledges his fans. Take for instance some of these videos here where he stops to sign autographs. Even though he's pretty busy, he even stops to sign this Han Solo carbonate model. He didn't need to do any of that, but he did it out of the kindness of his heart. And this goes to show you that just because you're the biggest movie star in the world, it doesn't mean that you have to forget about being human. It's incredible to think that he played Han Solo and of course Indiana Jones, but when he's out on the street amongst fans, he does take the time to sign autographs and communicate. Not every celebrity can say that they do that. Kristen Bell So far on this list, we've only covered male celebrities, but don't think that that's going to stay that way because there are plenty of actresses in Hollywood who may seem like they're filled with glamour and so much more. But at the end of the day, they're just like you and I. They don't need all the fanfare. They don't need to be in an A-lister when the camera is turned off. They may look like beautiful, stunning characters on screen, but in real life, they may just like wearing sweatpants. One actress who is like this happens to be Kristen Bell. 
One instance that shows this actress can be a good human being was when she performed a song from Frozen for a little girl. We only have each other. It's just you and me. The little girl was one of her director's daughters. It humanized the actress and showed that she had a soft spot. When an actor or actress can prove that they're more than just a movie star, that's a pretty big deal. And it also makes them relate to the people who are buying those movie tickets. As you can see in this video, she's got a beautiful voice and could honestly sing in a Disney movie. And even though this video, it's kind of old in terms of internet standards, the fact that it's still being spoken about today speaks volumes about the quality of the video itself. People love to see celebrities acting like humans, and we're here for it. Mick Jagger If you haven't noticed, and we didn't do it on purpose, we left out musicians so far on this list. They're obviously celebrities too, and sometimes there are the types of celebrities that seem like they are larger than life. More than all the other ones, you see them on stage performing, slamming their guitar into the ground, screaming at the top of their lungs while thousands of people sing along. But it would kind of be silly to think that these rock stars are those people when they leave the stage. Not all of them are like that. And this is the case for Mick Jagger, if you would believe it. So why is Mick Jagger someone that would still remain down to earth in many eyes? It's because like Harrison Ford, he still takes the time to pose with his fans, take pictures, and even sign autographs. You can see in some of these videos here that he has no problem getting his elbows dirty with a few of his admirers. This is unheard of for many celebrities of his status. Mick Jagger is someone who's larger than life. He has a career that has spanned decades, and he's literally known all around the world. We bet that you can't go a year without hearing one of his songs. So for him to take his time out of his day to pose with some fans shows that he hasn't let all the fame go to his head. And for many, that's a hard thing to do. So we applaud him for being able to do that. After all, there's a whole song written about him and it's called Moves Like Mick Jagger. It seems like there's some truth to it now. Who doesn't want to move like Jagger? Mark Zuckerberg Sometimes you don't need to be in a Hollywood movie to be a celebrity. Sometimes you don't need to be on stage or win the World Series to be a celebrity either. Sometimes all you need is a few million dollars. Actually, it helps if you have a few billion dollars as well. People are enthralled when other people are rich. People almost lose their minds when they find out that there are people who are in the billionaire brackets. And when you hear about these people, you tend to think that they live these ultra-lavish lifestyles. Mark Zuckerberg would be one of those people. But he doesn't live the lifestyle that you would assume for someone who has all the money in the world. Let's take a look. The first thing we're going to look at, it's the fact that Mark Zuckerberg does not wear fancy clothing. He donates a lot of money to charity, and he keeps things simple in his life. He doesn't do anything that goes out of his way to get a lot of fame. He just does what he needs to do and lives a simplistic life. Sure, he spends his money, but he doesn't spend it on lavish things. When you look at him, you don't even know that he's rich. And that's not a slight, that's just a fact. There doesn't seem to be a need to overcompensate with his wardrobe or anything like that. And even though he's in a tax bracket like no one else, he's still relatable on many levels. And that's cool. Dave Grohl If you thought that Mick Jagger was going to be our only musician on this list, think again. Because, like we said before, musicians and rock stars can be those larger-than-life figures that really take on an image that can't be duplicated. Sure, you can play Superman in the movie, but when it comes to performing on stage, there's a different essence that connects with the fans. And the lead singer of the Foo Fighters, Dave Grohl, has that essence. He has it in spades, in fact. But guess what? He's not belting out songs that get stadiums to move. He actually lives a modest life. The reason that we say Dave Grohl has never sold out or let the fame get to his head is that when you see him in real life, whether that's in an interview or on the street, He's not wearing anything fancy, nor is he screaming at the top of his lungs to get attention. He's actually a quiet man. He loves his friends and he simply is an artistic person. He's never rude to anyone either, and that's saying a lot for a man who had sung in front of thousands of people in stadiums everywhere. Jay Leno There are those celebrities who we see in movies every couple of years, but between those movies, we don't really know what's going on with their lives. The same thing goes on with sitcom stars. You may see them every week on the show, but when the season is over, and then between weeks, you have absolutely no idea what's going on with that actor. The same can't be said for talk show hosts. 
they're different types of celebrities. They're on five days a week and year-round. Jay Leno was one of those talk show hosts who transcended the genre, hosting The Tonight Show for years, and you would think based on all that suits that he wears on TV that he's one of the most flamboyant millionaires in the world. But no. We're about to show you why he's not, because the truth about Jay Leno is that he simply loves comedy. Well, he loves cars too. Cars are probably his only rich person thing. You know, the thing that lets you know that he's super rich. But other than that, he always finds a way to poke fun at himself. Even recently when he was burned as he worked on a car, he still made light of it and kept a positive attitude in the burn unit. He didn't want anyone to feel bad for him. He very much acknowledged that he has a lot of wealth and doesn't want anyone to ever put him on a pedestal. You don't get that a lot with celebrities, but Jay Leno is one of those rare exceptions even though he's got a whole lot of money. Warren Buffett Remember what we said about billionaires being fawned over just because they're wealthy? Mark Zuckerberg had been one of the best cases for that argument. But you know, he was someone who built his company from the ground up. He earned his billions in a very unique way when it came to the internet. Another man who gained his billions in a very unique way happens to be Warren Buffett. If you're familiar with him, you'll know that he got rich off of stocks. Even if you tried, you wouldn't be able to replicate what he's done. And now, someone with all that wealth, you would think that he'd be living on the yacht every single day of his life. Well, when you think of someone like Warren Buffett, you might think that they drink fancy wine every single day. You may also think that the foods that someone like Warren Buffett eats are way different than what someone in the middle class would be eating. But the truth of the matter is, Warren Buffett actually has a can of Coke every single day. He also invests in Coke, but that's beside the point. The point is, he's not much different from you or me. He never shies away from talking to people either. It's kind of hard to believe because he has a lot of the world's wealth. And yet, he's still a simple man. We'd actually like to take the time to call him a role model. Tom Shadyak A lot of the time when we think of rich people who are celebrities, we have this notion in our head that they have to live a certain lifestyle to sustain their image. It's ironic because they play characters in movies, but those characters often shape the way that we view them in real life. For example, most bankers in movies are evil villains like Lex Luthor from comic books. And as more and more people in society look at the rich as these evil money hogs, you can't help but look at a banker and envision them as a villain today. You might even think that Tom Shadyak is one of those evil villains from those movies. Well, guess again. Because this guy's pretty modest even if he's rich. Tom is an actor, and he's a very accomplished doctor, but he never seeks fame in the way that someone like Tom Cruise does. He's made a nice career for himself without all the fanfare. He's much like a banker in the sense that he's got all the wealth, but he doesn't have any publicity. Yes, he's very accomplished, but it's nothing that creates a huge ego. What he does is keep himself grounded and keep his ego out of the way. He's a humble man even though he has plenty of accomplishments to speak of otherwise. If only more actors were like Tom, maybe Hollywood wouldn't be so toxic. Catherine Middleton When we first introduced this list, we mentioned that even in politics, there's a bit of celebrity profiling there. We look at those people in politics and can't relate to them in the sense that they live in a whole different lifestyle than us. And this is because the spotlight is always on them. People are looking at their every move to see how they lead what they do in their position, and so much more. It might be even harder to work in politics than be a topless celebrity with no privacy. Another role in life that's similar to working in politics happens to be royalty. We look at those who are born with royal blood as well. Just that. With that, we tend to imagine them, always drinking out of gold goblets and doing extraordinary rich things every day. But that's not the case with Catherine Elizabeth Middleton, the Princess of Wales. Catherine is known for being down to earth first and foremost. It's almost like her royalty comes second. And this is because she's a woman of the people. She's always stopping to chat and doesn't make herself appear like she's a queen behind the queen's guard. She allows herself to be quirky, human, and even humorous in interviews. She doesn't carry herself like she's one of the richest and most protected people in the world. She can be relatable without actually being relatable. And that's a pretty hard thing to do when you're an actual princess. Call us crazy, but we could use a lot more royal people acting like Catherine rather than an angry king. J.K. Rowling 
it's always fascinating to us how people get their wealth. Just like we spoke about Mark Zuckerberg and Warren Buffett before, there are always those cases of celebrities who we just can't believe how successful they got, based on how they got successful. For example, you would never really think a book would make you a multimillionaire, especially when you wrote that book when you were completely broke. Well, that's the case with the author J.K. Rowling. You may know her from a little book called Harry Potter. It may have made her one of the richest authors in the world, but that doesn't stop her from living like a normal person. Even if she does write about wizards, a lot of people consider J.K. Rowling someone who never sold out because she often talks about her roots. She wrote Harry Potter as a single mother while she was on welfare, and she never forgot that story. She may live in a mansion now and have more money than she'll probably ever use, but she's still that broke author at heart. She even talks to her fans via Twitter, so being that accessible is always an admirable thing when you're that wealthy and famous. We hope JK Rowling will never change and will continue to remain down to earth so that we can continue reading her books, knowing that she's still just like us. Paul McCartney so far, we've mentioned rock stars that epitomize the larger-than-life lifestyle. For example, someone like Dave Grohl is one of those rock stars that you can always imagine belting out a few tunes. No matter what he's doing in his life, he just had that monstrous voice that transcends everything else. To dwell, but when it comes to music, you don't need to be one of those over-the-top rock stars to be larger than life. Sometimes you can just be a part of a band that shaped music as a whole. The Beatles were one of those bands, and Paul McCartney is a living legend. But he doesn't let that go to his head, because Paul McCartney is so famous you might already know about him. But when he's in an interview, he's never standoffish. He never really alludes to the fact that he was in one of the biggest bands, if not the biggest, in the history of the world. To this day, there's never really been a band that could top the success of the Beatles. But just talking to Paul McCartney, you would never know that he's world famous. It's even more impressive because he's been through so much loss. There was the death of John Lennon, the breakup of his band, and so much more heartache in his life. Yet, when he's in interviews, he still finds the ability to laugh and joke around. He fancies himself like every man, and it shows in just how he interacts with people. It's even pretty incredible that he goes on these talk shows when he really doesn't have to. It goes to show you that no matter how much fame you have, you can still be a cool person. Katie Couric we forgot to mention that it's not only actors, sports fans, and politicians that are celebrities. Sometimes there are people who bring us news that also transcends their genre and becomes larger than the stories that they report on. It's a hard thing to do and there are many reporters nowadays with so many different outlets to provide news to us. We may have just lost Barbara Walters, but there are so many news reporters out there who have made history and changed the game of journalism. Katie Couric is one of those people. She's almost as recognizable as Barbara Walters or someone like Al Roker. But like the other celebrities on our list, she doesn't let it go to her head. If you've noticed anything about this list, it's that people on it have something in common. They're all down to earth and make themselves available to people who aren't as famous as they are. Katie Couric is no exception. She may have interviewed A-list celebrities and everyone in between, but she still does those silly skits, doesn't refrain from interviews, and doesn't focus on the fact that she's been a pioneer in women's journalism. She doesn't need all the fanfare that comes with her status, and that's an admirable thing for someone who has worked so hard in her industry. When you think of the news, you think of Katie Couric. In fact, we can find the news synonymous with Katie Couric, but something tells us that she doesn't feel the same way, and that's humbling. David Green as we mentioned in our intro before, the way to become a celebrity today is drastically different from the days that have passed. You don't just have to be a movie star or the President of the United States to get notoriety. There are so many different ways people become famous, and this is all because of the internet. Even this channel wouldn't have been possible years ago without the internet. Now there are entrepreneurs who are also gaining a lot of fame. Someone like David Green is one of them, but David Green is far from the egotistical entrepreneur that a lot of the internet has seen lately. If you've ever heard of Hobby Lobby, then you might know about David Green, because he's the CEO. And with a store that big, you would think this man would have an ego the size of, well, the store itself. But no, he still takes time to remember where he came from. It's kind of like JK Rowling, but in the business sense. We can prove this by how he spoke about his parents in an interview. He still thinks about how his parents raised him. 
The fact that he always goes back to his past and does it just consider him a wealthy billionaire. It's something that not a lot of millionaires or billionaires have. So the next time you're shopping in a Hobby Lobby, just think about how cool the CEO is and how down to earth he is. But that doesn't mean you have to spend a lot, Lady Gaga. For number 5 we move back into the music genre, because once again there are just so many musicians out there who transcend the music industry and make us believe that they are larger than life. This time we're not focusing on male singers though, we're focusing on someone like Lady Gaga. People thought she was weird at first, they saw her publicity as a negative thing, but now she's one of the biggest stars in the world, up there with Beyonce, Elton John, you name it. But she's still that broke girl she once was in her heart, and she never forgot her roots, no matter how much fame she gets. She may be the queen of music right now, but in many interviews Lady Gaga has spoken about her humbling beginnings. She never allows herself to be a celebrity. And this is why her fans flock to her, because they still feel that she's one of them. She's super rich and she has been all around the world, but somehow she's found the ability to still be that woman who was on the come up. It's almost like she's the opposite of a sellout and that's a very rare thing when it comes to famous singers of her status. Call us crazy, but it seems like a good thing when you're the opposite of a sellout. Plus, if you can sing like Lady Gaga, that's a perk too. Jennifer Lawrence It's interesting to stop and think about what makes a celebrity likable. Because it's not just the fame or the money that gets people interested. There's an it factor that comes along with it. Not all celebrities have it. Some would consider that it factor as a bit of relatability. You don't always want to see celebrities as this entity that you can't relate to. People love it when someone is rich but also down to earth, and Jennifer Lawrence, an actress who has been in The Hunger Games and so many other movies is just that type of person. This is why people love her, but it's also why she's still down to earth. When it comes to being quirky and down to earth, Jennifer Lawrence epitomizes both of those sentiments. She has a lot of accomplishments under her belt when it comes to acting, but that doesn't stop her from still being goofy and her usual quirky self. Most people consider her one of the quirkiest actresses in Hollywood, and her down-to-earth nature still makes her relatable and someone who lives like a normal person. She's never out doing super fancy things or leaving super expensive restaurants. This makes her fans continue to follow her and adore everything that she does. It's definitely a far cry from the character that she played in The Hunger Games, who could murder on a whim. But we're happy that she's not that character, and we consider ourselves lucky to get to know the real Jennifer Lawrence. Michelle Obama We may have touched upon royalty on this list already, and we mentioned politics a little bit. But we haven't named a politician yet in terms of someone who has remained down to earth and living a normal lifestyle. You wouldn't think that politicians would remain like everyday people. This is because when they get to the office, we tend to look at them a little bit differently, like they're above us in a way. And this is because they have a bit of authority, but Michelle Obama is someone who doesn't allow authority to get to her head. The reason that so many people consider Michelle Obama as less of a celebrity and more like someone that we just know is that she allows herself to be that way. Just because she's been the first lady of the White House, that doesn't mean that she still doesn't crack jokes with talk show hosts pokes fun at herself and makes you forget that she had a whole lot of status at one point in time and still does. This is something that not a lot of people in her position have done in the past, and that always creates a stigma. You tend to look at the first lady of the Oval Office as acting a certain way, but Michelle Obama has proven that she's more American than anything else. She never needs to flaunt her status or make herself appear like she's above anyone else. At times, it almost seems like she's the one who helps Barack Obama navigate the tricky waters of politics, and we find that to be super admirable. Tiffany Haddish Another actress who is up there in the bracket of Jennifer Lawrence in terms of not selling out once she had a huge amount of fame is an actress named Tiffany Haddish. She's an actress who has an almost cult following, but she does not through her ability to tell stories on screen but also through her ability to remain down to earth when her success may point her in a different direction. That's why she's number two on our list today. Tiffany Haddish is a lot like Michelle Obama and Jennifer Lawrence in the sense that she doesn't take herself too seriously. You wouldn't even know that she's a celebrity if you didn't know her past work. This is because she carries herself as someone who doesn't take pride in the status she has in Hollywood. She's able to change up her style without needing to dress expensively. She's been nominated for awards and still doesn't sell out to her own abilities. 
She's someone that a lot of actresses aspire to be like because of how relatable she can be to her audience. It's truly not an easy thing to be so successful while also remaining humble at the same time. It's a skill all into itself and she seems to master it. Maybe the next generation of actors and actresses will take a page out of her book because we could use a lot more people like her in the world of Hollywood. Maybe then people would stop calling it Holly Weird. Carlos Slim If you've noticed anything about this list, it's that some of the most interesting people on it were billionaires. Someone like Mark Zuckerberg and Warren Buffett just makes you want to dive deep into their lifestyle even further. Because rich people almost seem like superheroes, and they appear like that even more so when they remain grounded. No one is better at that than Carlos Slim. Carlos definitely takes the cake in terms of being a standout. He may have a huge fortune, but he's still finding a way to make himself a little less complicated when it comes to its finances. He has plenty of businesses all around the world, but the kicker here is that he does not own a computer. That includes technology like a smartphone and things like that. He keeps all his business records in notebooks. Talk about archaic. Coming from a man who has all the wealth in the world to think that he does not own one computer, it's pretty astonishing by today's standards. We don't even know if we'd be able to pull off something like that. But it goes to show you that there are plenty of people on this list who have mass amounts of wealth, but have not allowed themselves to stray away from their true identity. And this is a lesson that maybe all of us could learn from. We might not go as far as Carlos here in terms of keeping our financial records and spiral notebooks, but hey, it's a start. By now you should know that just because you're a celebrity who's rich and famous, it doesn't mean that you can't live like a normal person. Sure, there will always be exceptions. There will always be those celebrities and public figures that just live in a different world from us. But we'll always appreciate those who make us feel like we're on that level, even though their bank accounts look a lot bigger than ours. So the next time you judge a celebrity book by its cover, just remember that not all of them are the same. Some of them are cool and down to earth. If you ever get rich and famous, try to be like one of them.